All right, everybody, it is time to review yesterday's work. So I asked all of you watching yesterday's video to design a nav bar for this layout right here. And I had a bunch of different submissions. And in this video, I'm going to take a look at a few that I think didn't need any revisions at all. And then some that I make some minor tweaks. Now what's cool is most of you did a great job. Um, there wasn't anybody who really just butchered it, which is a great thing. So I'm gonna take a look at these and we're all gonna understand based on these improvements and this is gonna help you improve. And then tomorrow we're gonna do a brand new challenge where I challenge you to do a hero section design, which is gonna be a bit funner than this one. So let's go ahead and see what people did. All right, so here's the first one and the, the first two that I'm gonna show you don't need any revisions in my opinion. They work and that's what you want. Um, it's, they're very simple and typically that's what you want for a navigation, especially based on everything else happening here. This here, there's no issues with it in my opinion. Um, everything's good, white space, the contrast, active state, um, grouping, all is good. So let's check out another one. All right, so this one, again, I don't think this needs any revisions at all. Uh, there's two different designs. Um, they're pretty similar in how they were approached, but you know, they still both work. All the fundamentals are nailed off. Now let's check out, check out another one. Here, this one, there are some things I would change. And the first thing I would change if I zoom up here is notice the home button, while it is bold, they for some reason didn't allow it to be white. So I would make that white to really make it contrast like, like what I just did there. And then the other thing I would do is add a little bit more white space between these elements. So this is what it was. I'm just gonna add it a little bit more because we have the space available. They don't have to be so squashed together. And then the final thing I would adjust is right up here where this icon is a little bit too close to the edge. So I just fixed it right there. You can see I made it smaller and got it away from the edge. So the previous one was here and the updated one looks like this. Very minute, small changes, but those small changes, um, they make a big difference. So let's go on to the next one. So again, some of these are very similar. These two, this one is very similar to the last one. Um, this time this person kind of did the same thing. There's too much white or not enough white space between LM, these nav links, so I changed that. And then over here, this is a, a big issue because the icon itself is dark, all right? And that's not what I would do here in this context. I would keep it white. So I'll show you the changes that I made. I also changed the background of this because theirs was a little desaturated and it didn't fit well with this blue color. So here's the previous and here's the after. Small changes once again. Let's go to another one. All right, so this one's a little bit different. We're introducing like a pill outline based uh, button on the contact link and they've also it's kind of hard to tell italicized and bolded this active state i kind of don't like mixing italics with just regular italics here so that's the first thing i changed just make it standard and then another thing i would change is simply get rid of the pill container for the contact button not because it looked bad because i don't think it did but because in my opinion, it doesn't make sense. It's just a contact page. It's not a high, it's not a, it's not a page where you really want people to go. Um, I would agree with that button. Like if they had to share your music, like a, a, a nav bar based call to action up here that kind of mimics this one. But other than that, I would just keep it the same. Now here's another one that introduced a color um, that's not found in the design, which is okay because the color they chose here actually works pretty well with this other color. And these look to be analogous colors, meaning um, on the color wheel, this, this greenish is gonna be fairly close to this blue. So I don't have a problem with that, but I do have a problem with how small things are and how up, to, how up top it's really, it's, it's really just a little bit too close, not enough white space. So to show you what that was before, this is the original and here's my fix for that issue specifically. Now this little squiggly line, that's okay to do. I have no problem with that, but I'm gonna, separate it more with more white space by moving it down slightly. So right there, that's the change. And there we go, that's pretty solid there. Here's another one. Now for this one, all of the links appear to be at the same boldness, um, but they're not. This is actually bold and this is semi-bold, these are. And there's not enough difference or a difference of typographic visual hierarchy between active state and the default state. So 
this is what I would do. I would simply just make them a regular font weight and that way you really make it obvious which page is currently active. All right, now here's a, another one um, where we have a home icon. And again, they use a, the, like the kind of like a teal color, which works perfect with this blue. I have no problem with that, but it's not capitalized like the rest. So that's a small change, but you wanna keep things like that consistent. And then additionally, I changed the contact us button to an outline button instead of a solid fill background. And the reason is because if you look over here, and this is a visual hierarchy issue, this is a large contact us button filled up white. So that's, it's really demanding a lot of attention. Um, and it's actually larger height wise, at least than share your music, which is the primary call to action found in the hero. You don't want to compete like this. This should be the one that really stands out the most. So the way you can negate that is to A, make it smaller, and B, just give it a outline instead, like this. Now your attention is more naturally drawn to share your music. Now we're gonna take a look at one final one, which in my opinion has a lot working for it, but there's some things that are working against it. Um, and you'll see by the end, we can really tidy this up. So the first thing I guess we'll do is move the um, search bar over to the left because right now it's kind of in the middle, but kind of not. So I think it would just make sense to move that over. So we've moved it over. And now the next change is going to implement quite a bit of changes. Um, I have a lot of problems with the color here. So gray text on any type of colored background, especially light gray or like a mid gray tone, really doesn't work well. It's bad color contrast. So watch this next change. It's really going to change a lot. That's what I would change this to. So I changed a lot. If I go back, you'll see what these changes are. So essentially I made the, the search icon smaller. I also take, took the search something, which isn't ideal placeholder text. You really wanna just show them examples of what they could type in, um, like a band or you know tracks, music tracks or something like that. I also made it not bold because it doesn't need to be bold. And then I changed the background color because right here it's too desaturated once again. And it makes a little bit more sense just to either make it lighter than the current background and, uh, or just make it darker, but still maintaining the same tone value. All right. Um, and then finally, this little gray separator, which is fine. You can introduce this if you want. It's, it's gray and it, it doesn't work well. Um, additionally, this little active border icon I would extend that all the way and not make it rounded. So watch what this change does here. That's all I've done there. You can see the, the color here. It's actually the same hue, but it's lighter on the color spectrum. And this is extended all the way out. So that change looks like it goes from this to this. And that's it. And so hopefully that was helpful as a quick review of just to show, you know, if you, you tackled this project, but I didn't see it, maybe you were making some of those mistakes. As you can see, you can walk away with this knowing that and understanding that there's not one way or one perfect way to get a navigation given a given, given a, a specific layout like this. Uh, there's multiple ways that you can approach this, which is great because it's not a one size fits all sort of thing. Um, you have a degree of subjectivity, but also you have to mind the objective rules of UI UX design. And hopefully I helped kind of solve some of those issues for you. In the next video tomorrow, uh, we're gonna take a look at hero sections. And this one's gonna be funner because you're gonna be tasked with designing a whole hero section, which is you know this middle section of a landing page. So I will see you then, goodbye.